Hello. Let's talk about maxima and minima. When we try to uh, graph a function f of x, we need to determine any points of significance. So, in this category, we have maxima and minima. Or we can say any point in the vicinity of a and f of a is lower than this point. Then it's a local maxima. To also make the connection with the derivative, we can say that for a function f of x, represented on this uh, uh, graph on the left by the blue curve, if the tangent to this graph changes from a positive slope to zero slope to a negative slope, then we can uh, conclude that the point at a and f of a is a local maxima. In the same manner, for a local minima, any point in the vicinity is greater than that point. If the slope of the tangent to, our, to the graph of our function changes from negative to zero to positive, then in that point where it's zero, or a and f of a, that point is a local minima. So these are local maxima and minima. The absolute maximum and minimum values of a function on an interval are found among these local extremes or the endpoints of the interval. So we have to calculate the endpoints of the interval, the values for the endpoints of the interval, and uh, also the local minima and maxima to determine which one is the absolute uh, minimum or maximum. Now that we understand what the local minima and local maxima represent, we can say that if um, f prime of a is zero, or f prime of a does not exist, then this value a from the domain of the function is a critical number. This critical number a is going to prove very helpful when trying to sketch the graph of a function. Thanks for watching.